The world was on fire, no one could save me by you. Strange what desire will make foolish people do. Had a dream that I knew somebody like This is John Cullen. Welcome to another episode of Bedtime Stories. In this episode, I'll be reading the letter from the Congress of the United States, House of Representatives Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic. I'll be reading the letter from September 26th, 2023, to the Honorable Christy Grimm, Inspector General at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Dear Inspector General Grimm, the Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic, Select Subcommittee, has received concerning information regarding the Central Intelligence Agency's investigation to the origins of COVID-19. According to information gathered by the Select Subcommittee, Dr. Anthony Fauci, then Director of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, played a role in the Central Intelligence Agency's review of the origins of COVID-19. The information provided suggests that Dr. Fauci was escorted into Central Intelligence Agency headquarters without a record of entry and participated in the analysis to influence the agency's review. Our goal is to ensure the scientific investigative process regarding the origins of COVID-19 was fair, impartial, and free of alternative influence. The Select Subcommittee's goal is to ensure accountability and transparency. The American people deserve the truth to know the origins of the virus and whether there was a concerted effort by public health authorities to suppress the lab leak theory for political or national security purposes. Accordingly, information regarding specific movements of Dr. Fauci throughout the pandemic is reasonable and hardly intrusive especially considering he's no longer employed by the federal government, he's no longer a protectee of the Inspector General, and we are not requesting any information regarding his current movements. To assist the Select Subcommittee with its investigation, we request the following documents and information as soon as possible, but no later than October 10th, 2023. Number one, documents sufficient to show any Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General authorized, supported, or otherwise affiliated movements of Dr. Anthony Fauci from January 1, 2020 through December 31, 2022 into any CIA-owned, operated, or occupied building, including but not limited to the George Bush Center of Intelligence. Number two, all documents and communications between or among employees or contractors of the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General regarding the admittance of entry of Dr. Anthony Fauci into any CIA-owned, operated, or occupied building, including, but not limited to, the George Bush Center of Intelligence. 
Number three, all documents and communications between or among employees or contractors of the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General and employees or contractors of the CIA regarding the admittance or entry of Dr. Anthony Fauci into any CIA-owned, operated, or occupied building, including but not limited to the George Bush Center of Intelligence. Number four, all documents and communications between or among employees or contractors of the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General and employees or contractors of the U.S. Marshals Service regarding the admittance or entry of Dr. Anthony Fauci into any CIA-owned, operated, or occupied building, including but not limited to the George Bush Center of Intelligence. Number five, all documents and communications between or among employees or contractors of the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General and employees or contractors of the Department of Health and Human Services, including but not limited to the National Institutes of Health and National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases regarding the admittance or entry of Dr. Anthony Fauci into any CIA-owned, operated, or occupied building, including, but not limited to, the George Bush Center of Intelligence. In addition to these documents, we request you make Special Agent Brett Rowland available for a voluntary transcribed interview at a date to be determined. Accordingly, the committees will contact you to schedule the interview. The committees reserve their right to conduct follow-up interviews or request testimony from other witnesses pertinent to our investigation. The Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic is authorized to investigate the origins of the coronavirus pandemic, including but not limited to the federal government's funding of gain-of-function research and executive branch policies, deliberations, decisions, activities, and internal and external communications related to the coronavirus pandemic under HRES 5. To schedule the briefing or ask any follow-up or related questions, please contact Select Subcommittee staff at 202-225-5074. Thank you for your attention to this very important matter. Signed, Brad Wenstrup, Chairman and this is to Inspector General Christy Grimm. Copied on the letter, the Honorable Raul Ruiz, ranking member of the Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic. This is Bedtime Stories. Thank you for joining. I never dreamed that I meet somebody like you. I never dreamed that I lose somebody like you.
Strange what this I like foolish people do I never dreamed that I love somebody like you I never dreamed that I love somebody like you Without you Without you